News Channel 5, on your side, presents Kaleidoscope, focusing on people who make a difference in Northeast Ohio communities. You're in touch with Kaleidoscope. I'm Leon Booth. Always glad to have you with me today. Teresa Saxton McCurry is a local entrepreneur, and she's author of a book, Running Things. She'll talk about her book and share her experiences as an entrepreneur. Good to have you with us, Teresa. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, we're always excited to have you here as well. All right. Yeah, you wrote a book called Running Things. Yes, Tell sir, me what I made did. you decide I need to write a book <laughs> called Running Things. Well, what I decided to write the book because a lot of my clients, I'm a hairstylist mm -hmm. by trade, and a lot of my clients would say, well, you tell interesting stories and you hear interesting stories. Mm -hmm. You should write a book. Mm -hmm. You know, you've traveled, you've done some exciting things. You should write a book. And then when I decided to write the book, I decided to write about my story, not other people's story, as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. As an entrepreneur? Yes. So, what, 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 what's the lesson that you want us to learn as we look at running things? Well, when you look at running things, basically the foundational message is that faith and tenacity, once it's introduced to your destiny, you can do anything. Faith and tenacity. Once have it's introduced to your destiny. Uh-huh. Because you can have faith and tenacity towards the wrong things. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, and tenacity meaning you've got that stick to it. That wherewithal, no matter this, what, rainy this, days. This is what I'm going to do. You were telling me before we started the interview that you and your husband co-pastor a church on, yes, on we the Cleveland do. West Sides. So, that, well, what's the name of the church? The church is New Beginnings Ministries, and we're located at 3106 West 73rd. So, there is, I would bet that there is a spiritual component of to running to, to the book running things <laughs> tell me tell me how you weave those two things together of the spiritual side and the business side well as an entrepreneur you have to have faith and then why not have faith in God and having faith in God it leads you on your path directs you on your path and helps you get to where you're going so I've always had a foundational base spiritually mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be me if it didn't have scriptures mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. well, why do you think people are so fearful some people are so fearful about taking a risk and following their passions, what they really secretly in the back of their minds want to do. Why are they fearful? A lot of people are fearful because when it comes to stepping out on faith, you don't know what the end results are going to be. You don't know what's around that corner. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So when you're stepping out, it's like I want security. I want to make sure that step is going to be there when I step down. But as an entrepreneur and stepping out on faith, it's, no, it's uncertainty. It's mm -hmm. the uncertainty that's that you thrive on. I have a very, very good spiritual advisor uh, uh, that, I, that I was close to over the years. She's moved out of town right now, the Reverend Joan Salmon Campbell. And she used to talk about uh, 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 obstacles. Sometimes we meet obstacles. She says those are not obstacles. Those can be stepping stones. Stepping stones. To the next, to the other side of the river. That's true. And even more so lessons. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily an obstacle unless you make it an obstacle. Mm -hmm. It's your perception. How do you perceive this to be? Mm -hmm. Can I get something? positive out of it and you always can so that's what you've written about in your book running things the resilient spirit of an entrepreneur correct you call upon some of your own your own uh, 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 experiences don't you in, in, in talking about this book give, give me a, a short short story of one of those experiences that 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 help make you uh, the entrepreneur that you've become <laughs> Well, one thing I think about, I tell stories about when I was younger and different things that my parents had told me about myself. So I remember when I was younger, my mother said we were selling cookies or something like that. And she said when I was going around door to door, I was like, how many cookies do you want to buy today? So it wasn't, it was in my mind, you're going to buy the cookies. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask you, did you want to buy the cookies? So as an entrepreneur, you have to have that confidence. You have to have self-assurance that people want the products, the goods, whatever it is that you're selling. Mm -hmm. So just being confident. And you and you stay faithful to, to, to your job. Of course. And faithful faithful to your, your spiritual side, to, to God, mm -hmm. who gives you the guidance to, to do what you want to do. Correct. Yes. Uh, well, this was your inspiration for, for writing the book, was to pull all of this together. Was there anything that took place in your life where you said, I need to write this down? 
Well, one of the stories that I talk about in there, and I don't go into great length about the story, is my daughter passing away. So my daughter passing away, for me, was a very good spiritual foundation, because I was a Christian, and I, I always tell my people that I was playing church. But when my daughter passed away, she was 14 months old, and I said, you know what? She had to go to heaven, so I need to be serious about my walk with Christ so I can go to heaven and see her again. So I talk about, you know, getting up after things have happened in your life and not letting that define you. You, but you met, making it a defining moment in your life where you're immobilized, but giving you the win to push on to the next thing. The book is called Running Things. Where can, where can we find uh, uh, Running Things? You can get it off of my website, Inspire Me INC, or Amazon. All of the bookstores carry it. InspireMeINC.org. Okay. You can also get it off of uh, uh, Amazon. Can we find it on Amazon? Yes, you can. Well? Uh -huh. And I'm going to put a phone number on the screen uh, of uh, 216. You don't mind. We put in this phone. Mm -mm, this not at okay. all. Sometimes I'm a say, business woman. I gotta take care of business. No, business. give my number, me. Leon. Give my number. Two one six four six six thirty eight zero one. And you can get more information on everything we're talking about with Teresa Saxton McCurry, author of Running Things. Yes. Yeah, and I guess you're running things. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we all want to run something. Yes. Yeah. As an entrepreneur, I always say you're the decision maker and the risk taker. Okay. Well, I've got a guy right by the camera. Jim is there telling me, Leon, all our right, time so is up. He's he's Running things things right now, He's yes. saying we got to take a break, and we will. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you for having me. I'll be back in just a minute.